This is not the SH figure arts Iron Man Mark 42 from Iron Man 3. What's up everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host Dexter Raffulis, and welcome to This Is Not Week, where this entire week we're going to be opening fake bootlegs, clones, whatever you want to call these things. They are not the real deal. This is the SH Figure Arts, or fake SH Figure Arts Iron Man Mark 42, aka Vanilla Coke Iron Man. I call it Vanilla Coke Iron Man because it looks like a can of Vanilla Coke due to the whitish gold and the red. So enough of me talking, let's get this guy open. Let's see if he's worth the money. I got this on AliExpress for about 20 US dollars and he shipped here pretty quickly. And I'm pretty excited about this one because I do have the original Vanilla Coke Iron Man which I've been showing on my channel a lot. And we're gonna compare it with that one. Uh, one more thing before we take this guy out of the box. I gotta say, we are very, very, very close to 30,000 subscribers, and that's right. Go into the description down below, enter that give giveaway, and I will be giving away more than one prize out to, um, I'm gonna say about five people are gonna be getting prizes sometime this week. So, enough of us talking about that. Let's just go right into the figure, and right off the bat, let's just see what's going on here. He is a wobbly, floppity mess. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, when it comes to Iron Man figures, they're usually decently tight and they're usually close to the real deal, but I'm going to tell you right now, just by holding and pulling this guy out of the box, I got to say this is not very good when it comes to quality control. Look at that. I can just lay the figure down flat like this and you can see that the joints are super loose right out of the box. Uh, that is not a good thing. And I'm going to tell you something also, if you look here, let's look at his crotch here. Those are not real joints. In fact, you can actually see that it's already starting to break. This is awful. I'm just going to tell you right now, this is, does not um, have a good first impression on me. Everything else seems to be looking very good. Uh, maybe not so much in the paint right here in the chest area. And let's look at the face. It looks like it's just been smashed in. This looks like a battle damaged Mark 42 for sure. But the back looks okay. The red looks accurate. The vanilla parts look accurate as well. It's just that it looks like it's been laid on really thick and not precise. Um, so enough of that first impression. Let's see as this thing is just falling apart. Even the knee joint, even the knee things are starting to come off. Give me one second. Let me try to put this guy together. He's just, he's not good. He's not good. I'm going to tell you that right now. He's not feeling very good. In fact, I'm having a hard time keeping him up. So here's the real deal. Look at this, guys. Just look at it. You can clearly tell that there is something very wrong with the bootleg. The real one has a very clean, like, goldish white, hence the name I call it Vanilla Coke. And it just looks so perfect, in my opinion. Uh, and then you look at this. There's a clear difference in the paint apps. The white is wrong. The gold is wrong. The the red is pretty close to the real deal. Actually, if you can see here, there's just it's inaccurate. It just it's almost like they took an Iron Man figure and they just painted it like gold and white to match it. And that's not how you do things. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is this fake is not looking very good. In fact, it doesn't even look like the real deal at all. It is, it's a night and day comparison from the way I see it and how I'm looking at it right now. So when it comes to paint and detail, absolutely not accurate to the real deal at all. And that is a huge negative. This is, I hate to admit this, this might actually be the worst um bootleg Iron Man that I've gotten on the table. Usually the bootleg Iron Man SH figure arts are usually really good, but this one is just a knockoff by the highest standard, and that's not a very high standard at all. As you can see, even the joints here are white and fake, and just these. this is the wrong type of plastic that they use. And yeah, the joint system is just totally terrible. Now let's look at the real one. As you can see, it's painted silver and it is much better quality. There's no plastic fraying whatsoever. So yeah, enough of that when it comes to paint detail. This thing is just awful when it comes to that. So let's move on to articulation and scale. 
So moving on to articulation and scale, let's see how tall he's standing. He's looking to stand at about six and a quarter inches, and let's see how the real one stands, just to give you an idea if it even scales well. And no, the real one is definitely, mm, you know what, I'm gonna have to say they're about the same. Let's see, let's stand them back to back like that. The real one is a hair taller, yes. Definitely a hair taller. Man, I'm just noticing all these things that they just totally miss. Like, look at the hands here. The hand armor pieces. This is red. This is what? Come on. That's no. No, 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 no. That's that's just awful. And let's compare it with Marvel Legends. Sure, why not? Just because. And here it is. Marvel Legends always going to be much bigger. This is the 80th anniversary Iron Man, which you can get at dstartoys.com. And here's a Civil War real deal SH figure arts Captain America. As you can see, these two work really well together, I have to say. But like I said, this figure is starting not to be very good, in my opinion. So let's move on to articulation. Got up and down at the toe, which is super tight, and that's not going anywhere. But you have a super wobbly... <laughs> uh, what is this called? Um, ankle pivot, and that's just awful. And we have a double-jointed knee, super loose. We have the ball joint there at the leg. Don't forget the thigh swivel which is really tight as well and that's not going anywhere unless I break it we have two here in the midsection we have a, so a shoulder joint there and don't forget the armor piece does go up just like the real deal bicep swivel double jointed elbow ball and peg there at the wrist and two at the neck looking to be above 20 points of articulation he's articulated just like the real deal but he's just awful <laughs> now let's look at accessories here you do get the blast effect pieces um, these are really nice. I always love these, but can they even fit? And I'm gonna have to say yes, sort of, kind of. This goes on the feet, I believe. So you can get something like that. And let's see what else here. Um, I guess we can do a quick hand swap. Sure, why not? And this is the hand swap. So this does seem to be working out quite well actually so there you have it that's a hand swap right there so all the effect pieces do work but also if you notice they're just really awfully painted just look at the paint on this this just looks so bad um, so I'm about to end this video but before I do my vanilla coke Iron Man and they're one of the main reasons why I bought this and that's not gonna happen is I lost this part and I was hoping this would replace and I guess this does work as a replacement part but as you can see as I attempted to pull it off that's like super glued in so that's not coming out <laughs> and that totally ruins it right there for me and uh, yeah that's not going to happen I'm trying to put the fake armor piece on the real one and because of the fact that they super glued this in it just popped right out and it broke so let's come up with a conclusion of this. Is this worth your 20 to $25? No, not really. No, definitely not. It's a loose mess. The joint system is totally bad. It is nothing like the real deal. The face and paint and everything just looks so awful. My goodness, this thing is really bad. They missed out on certain parts on the armor pieces like that are they're supposed to be vanilla colored. Like, this one's supposed to be pure vanilla colored, or like, I'm just going to call it vanilla colored. I don't care. This part is supposed to be purely vanilla colored, and then this is just, that scene, that's wrong. There's so many paint apps that are wrong with this figure, and it's loose, and it's just a piece of garbage. I'd have to say, this is not worth your money. Um, I would probably, if you were looking for an Iron Man figure, and it's not the 42, I'd say the Mark 50 is easily the best clone. I'd recommend that one over this garbage. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That's all I got to say about this. If you're looking for 100% authentic quality action figures, you can go where everyone knows where we're going to go. www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. So, rate, comment, 
and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.